Disclaimer. The video is a critique and is considered constructive criticism. Please do not harass anyone involved in the video. I'm just going to already say this, but Cartoon Mania is actually a floss masterpiece that I was wrong on. This show is a modern day classic that rivals William Shakespeare's finest works, and it belongs in a modern art museum. Trolled! Hello everybody, it's me, Kathy here. And yeah, enough time has passed for me to make a follow-up. Mostly because A, I finally got better editing and better sprites. And B, Matthew is, um, back. However, this isn't anything new because Matthew technically never went away in the first place because turns out he had an alternate account where he made Sesame Street videos. Also recently, he just made a few short animations and unprivated a few animation tests. Also, before I get into like some miscellaneous Cartoon Mania stuff, I need to go over the things that I got wrong in my initial video. Okay, a few small things. Also, I just love Matthew's web fame hall of choices here. Like, we got channels that aren't even web animators like Turkey Tom or Jell Scat Fetish. I'm Stan and I was wrong! I'm singing the Stan Wrong song! Yeah, all I knew about Jell Apocalypse were his um, politics, his reviews, and his um, love of chocolate brownies. I literally never even got into his content. And even then, I'm not even sure if this would even count as a web animation. This isn't something on the eyes of an average webtoon, because even something like Greeny Bottom actually has a fucking plot, I think. The animation in Jell Apocalypse is so this is basically, it feels more like background noise since you could replace the art with images, and it wouldn't really change anything, or make the impact outside of stylistic preferences. Roland is actually a really cute little critter as well. Can't hate geckos, and that's a fact. Yeah, I got the wrong character. Although to be fair, this is a mistake on my editor's behalf, not me. And then there's the artwork. I couldn't clarify if these were commissions or requests, but um, some of these pictures I featured weren't actually animators, and I accidentally painted them out like they were. Really, finding info on animator being a bad person was actually really hard because Twitter was just an A-log fest with barely any helpful information, and I regret posting that Google Drive in the description because they just outright dox Matthew, and I do not support violent threats or doxing. Also, the Google Drive is gone now anyways, and all I have left are people from my first video commenting about their experiences with Matthew. So, Matthew thought this would be a good idea to turn his shit into comics. The graphic novel, art-wise, is more polished looking than the actual series, though, however, it still suffers from the same stilted faces and has a lot more notable reuses of the same pose. The staging is also bland, with the same shots being reused over and over again. This would be okay if he was aiming for something more akin to a newspaper comic, but in a major comic like this, it just feels lazy, honestly. There isn't really a plot, it's just more or less Matthew paints a picture, Matthew is told said picture is worth a lot, he goes to see if it is worth a lot, but it's not actually in Faces Thieves that he get arrested in the end, cause it turns out the painting actually was worth something. Yeah, that's the actual plot rundown. It has a similar problem that a lot of the other Cartoon Mania episodes have. They just overly stretched out this plot, to the point where the story just becomes boring, honestly. And you're just sitting there, just waiting for the whole thing to end. I guess this could have worked for the pilot as the reboot, as this one has a lot more exposition, as well as proper introduction to see what the characters are like. And given how it's a switch to new media, I guess it's more understandable. Not sure what the best word to describe this overall is. If I had to say something, I'll just say it's just empty and unremarkable. This is gonna be hard to judge because this is just an animatic, and an animatic that ends halfway through nonetheless, but um, I'll give this my best shot. Seven Stripey Days is one of the most cartoon mania episodes of all time. Here it stars Sylvester, yeah I don't get the name change, plus this is the same continuity in general so um, why he even change his name in the first place? As he talks about his experience when he created the tiger characters. The humor in this episode is just not funny. 
and the animation still doesn't really seem to like improve that much. But I feel like if this was like a bit tweaked out though, it could have been a bit more interesting. After all, like um, the Victor episode was probably the series best, so I um, probably could have had more heart put into it if it just wasn't just abandoned the wayside. So, if the project actually does manage to come out of development hell, which is definitely unlikely at this point, will I still talk about it either way? The answer is no, cause my god, talking about Cartoon Mania kind of drains me honestly. The reason why this video came out as long as it did was because, well, I just kind of felt drained by this whole project, honestly. There isn't really that much substance unless you count the drama, which even then, there already exist other videos since then that actually discuss anime as a person and go more in detail on what happened. And overall, you're just left with a pile of mediocrity that I don't feel the need to like uh, continue after this video. I wasn't the first person to talk about Matthew, and I sure won't be the last. Also, most importantly, I just want to give some other web series a chance to shine. Some I absolutely love, some I absolutely despise, and others I just think are just average, or at the very least, I think are just fun to talk about. So yeah, Cartoon Mania. It's an animated series that exists. I'm the Litterbox Critic, I'm setting out. Teen Titans Go. It's your new favorite show.